a heavenly light behind you. I right, go for it. I'm going to go in the elevator. Never mind. Um, this is the elevator. It just ditched him, and then. So we were standing waiting for this elevator, and we, it opens. And Pete Sinclair is like, "Oh, you guys going up?" I'm like, "No." He's like, "Well, uh, careful. The elevators are possessed." Same elevator comes down. He's gone. Yeah, I got stuck in this elevator last night. It wouldn't go past the third floor. The door just kept opening and closing. That's crazy. So apparently at some point last year I commissioned this from Ace Robot Artist and Fully Licensed Artist Table, <laughs> uh, Shiba Marisma of Mora Prime. So thank you for... What did I ask for again? You asked for a pony lawnmower fighting a grass monster. I remember that because I think you're sick with 150 degree fever. Would that be Kelvin, or would that, what do you can I think that would be centigrade. Centigrade. I don't know the difference, but you are really... Centaur grams? Yeah. Yes. Centaur grams. Centaur grams. That's, that's a centaur lawnmower. That's a lawnmower. Horse. So I've been holding that's on that for a year. A year. A whole year. I had it in a safe. Climate control. I heard some people tried to break into your house and steal it. They did. Yeah, they did. Good thing it was in the safe. Really big guys tried well, to steal it. Because thank you for protecting it, me. it was graced by Vangelis. Thank you for guarding, you know, my clearly amazing artistic yeah, idea. It was. What a great way to start BlockCon 2012. wrong with classic Bumblebee duking it out with Shockwave. It'll look great. By the time I post this, this is probably already out. Yeah, I need that. I am liking it though. More Texas eggs still. His colors are red. I think Blast Off's my favorite. Oh, here comes the Scotsman. Some Hello. See you again soon. Hello, Evangelist and the rest of the internet. We got some Scottish action going on here. Hello, internet. How are you? Oh, not bad. Not bad. Are you doing good? Oh, we're doing good over here on the internet. I'm going to do something to you. I'm I don't want to look at you or look at the camera. I'm going to no. do, do a dolly and zoom out to make you look intense. <laughs> Scaring me now. I'm scared. I can promise you, I will leave this convention without buying Hercules. I am not buying Hercules. Full stop. What about in life? In life, I am never buying Hercules. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. We'll see that. You will never convince me, Evangelist. Never. What do you think? What are his chances? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't know. <laughs> You know, there's another one, right? It's called Giant. I'm not buying Giant either. Uh -huh. No. Are you sure about that? I'm not buying either. You haven't done it. Are you sure about that? Yes. Oh, we'll see. Your powers have no hold over me, Vangelis, at all. Now, uh, you say I have no hold over you. I'm just doing dolly and zooming and zooming. You very easily miss. You bought two mind wipes. You didn't convince me to buy any of this. You don't know what my dreams are like, sir. <laughs> oh, I know what your dreams are like. They're scary. That's right. They're X-rated, they're... I'm sitting there thinking to myself, man, I think that the Pentaveret should purchase a, a Jetwing Prime and, and a pair of mind wipes. Hell, even a United Skirt. See if he gets a better one than what I got. Yeah. I bet I get a better one because you... No, stop. <laughs> You're not gonna win this. I think I already have. I think, I think you should buy these. Too bad. Right. I stole them. Oh, sweet. So there. <laughs> you should buy that. It's 20 bucks over there for the set of three. No, you should buy the new ones. Those ones are tainted. I bought those. They're, they're tainted by you. Yeah. No. Of course, what you should do is you know, just cut away to me sitting there with Hercules going. Yeah. Likewise. Is this going to actually get made like the New York Comic Con video of me that never got put anywhere?
people came up to me today because they saw me in one of your videos. So the, the background moves away from you. Pick up anything good so far? Uh, no, uh, well, uh, just the box is uh, not. I'm looking for small things. I'm going to pick up the box. I'm going to Is this like 2001 an Empire Odyssey? Diabetes. And if I buy anything, I know he's just going to say he convinced me to buy it. So Who are you from? Me or him or him? Because of me, I can react for you. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a shark. She's listened to every podcast I've done because of him. How do you feel about that? Okay? Well, if you feel okay about it, mister, making people listen to podcasts over and over again, hearing all that silly stuff about going off topic and 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 and, and hypothetical situation time and all that that rude stuff where I'm not swearing when I'm talking about rude stuff. You're happy with yourself, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm doing good. How are you? So, hey. What's that behind you? I don't know. Huh? What's up? Oh, Luke! Oh. It just fell in my hand. You, How fortunate. You took my advice. No. Uh, After all these years, you finally took my advice. Yeah. I didn't buy nothing. I didn't buy nothing. He bought something. What? What's that? I'm about to run out. You know, the noise maze production version. There are a lot of times where I have to sit back and I have to think to myself, you know, there are there were simple men born as carpenters who, you know, one day rose to greater positions, and you kind of just have to accept the responsibility of having this kind of, you know, for lack of a better word, power over people. Persuasion. Yeah. Threatening persuasion. Yeah, I clean the blood off your face. It's okay. Yeah. Get there, you go. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I was young. I need the money. It was. Uh, you know, you need the money at first, but then eventually you just need the fun. <laughs> Basically, what we're thinking for the primary arrangement, and this is going to make your perceptions of this whole experience all the worse, is that you're going to be there. Chris is primarily going to be here, and Greg and I will be down here doing this. Basically. Yeah. That's excellent. <laughs> Are you documenting the, documenting the process? I uh, try my best. <laughs> okay. I'm mostly just pointing at you and doing dolly zooms. <laughs> well, you know. I have habits. There you go. You can see what we're, how we're framing. And we also have your camera. Yeah, in case we... It's actually a crazy shot coming off that lens, then down to over the shoulder. Cool? Yeah, I told you it was tiny. Please. Don't get my bald spot. No, I'm, I'm pointing. I'm pointing at their viewfinder. <laughs> okay, this is some verite going on. This looks like you're really grisly. <laughs> the aftermath. <laughs> well, I don't know about the rest of you, but that was real fun. Oh, oh I had a ton of fun. Yes. With it. I'd, I'd, I'd throw myself spiraling over a bed anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just glad that you you were you were you wanted to go with the physical humor because <laughs> it really helps nail things across and I. Oh, I have fun doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I said I once was uh, an army of psycho ninjas in a high school production. <laughs> Long story. Where, where do you live?
Hello everyone, I'm here with Shiba Mora Prime of SilasZ.com. Hello. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, thank you, Internet. So I'm here with uh, two gentlemen from some podcast called Pre-Order 66. And uh, I'm just curious, like, what's it like being one of the preeminent podcasts to come out of the New York State area about high-end toys? All right, I am here with, I'm going to get this right, Kali Kari Shoka. Excellent. Of uh, Puggle Formers and Kali's Critters and really cool plush thingies. The last two left? The last two left. Mr. Matt Teeger of uh, War... High Moon Studios. High Moon Studios. I was, I was about to say the game name. Oh, oh but sorry. It's all right. It's been a long day. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's been a long day for me, too. I've been in the panel room for, like, forever. Okay. <laughs> Pretty all much. Right. All yeah. Right. All right. You are here. Like Buster Jones. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> we line our checks with shit. Yeah, we, we, we line our <laughs> checks with pavement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't know why they don't take them. <laughs> They're perfectly good where I come from. <laughs> this is the Bee in the City Part 2. This is one of the first YouTube videos I ever put up. It was being the city part one. Really? Wow. So, Full circle. They better not screw this up. <laughs> this is this is my goddamn baby. <laughs> I'm watching you. Oh man, be in the city too. Had a script that was on the level. But man, all I could think was sound check. I'm assured that the mics were actually working during the rehearsal, but that was rough to watch. Maybe it's just because I'm learning more about sound engineering, it's making me snobby, I don't know. But god damn. Buster Jones is the best though, seriously. Dude, 
that's San Diego, that's only one per person, dude. I'm telling you that right now. And then you knew that was going to be a Comic Con? Yeah, Entertainment Earth. Yeah, Entertainment Earth will have it. All right, we are here with one awesome dude in a cowboy hat <laughs> named Clint Chapman. Uh, how is BotCon going for you? Absolutely fantastic. It's uh, It's been a great experience this year. And it just came out, this huge foamy bubble of coke hit my script, and I went, <gasps> and it all went back and didn't leave a single drop on the page, and everybody fell about laughing, and, uh, and uh, we could not get back <laughs> back in shape for at least a half an hour it was just it was the oddest craziest thing you have ever seen it was like watching something really freaky on youtube you know what i'm saying <laughs> but it was really something i'm gonna get you at work all right i am invading the privacy of an artist at work uh he's in the midst of drawing a thigh but his name is josh perez <laughs> So the Hall of Peace is walking around. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. 